So the test assertions that we are using, I think are a little barren. I think we need to kind of beef up our actual uh, assertions here and actually do an assertion on what is being returned back from this API endpoint. Just testing that it is created is not, I don't think is sufficient enough. So let's go ahead and here and let's actually test what's coming back from this endpoint. And the way that we do that is we need to find what's actually coming back from the API endpoint. And a really quick way to do almost like a console log on what you get back is to do an and do and have a mock MVC result handlers matcher. So we're gonna go down here. And then after we have that, we just do a print. So we have a print right here and MVC result handlers. It should be handlers instead of matchers. Okay. so. We've got that. Go ahead and run the test. It's gonna, I'm pretty sure it's gonna pass, hopefully. Uh, so it'll go ahead and pass. And what you can do is go down into the bottom and actually look at what is returned back in this mock HTTP surflet response body. So you see body, name, Pikachu type, and electric. So the ones that we probably want to test are going to be name and type. So what we are going to do is just go down here. And once we type these out a couple times, we won't have to type them out anymore because you can just copy and paste them. And I'm going to do and expect mock MVC result matchers dot JSON path. And we will have a uh, JSON path identifier here and we'll have, we'll have the name and then it will go to core matchers dot is and we will go ahead pass in the pokemon dto so we'll say pokemon dto dot get name and that will be equal to the amount up here okay so and you also have to make sure that those are not changing if they're changing you will probably have to do some type of extra logic but i think we'll be able to get away with it uh for our actual unit test right here so we're going to go down here and we'll have the type and the type should be also the same exact as well. So let's go ahead here and get rid of this print to console. So we don't need it anymore and let's go ahead and run it. So we're gonna go ahead and run it, make sure that it is still working. Okay, I still have the uh, name right here. It should be type, it should be type right there. So Pokemon DTO got dot get type. So we'll go ahead, we'll run it, we'll see what happens. And we've got our green check mark. Okay, so finally, let's move on and let's actually test the get all. So we'll say at test, and we're going down here. So we'll say public void Pokemon controller, just like this. And we'll say get all Pokemon. Say get all Pokemon and return response DTO. So we'll have response DTO just like this. And this will throw an exception. So if we get an exception, go ahead and throw. What we want to mock first, we're going to have to mock the get all in here, or we're going to have to mock the actual get all for the Pokemon value up here. So we're getting all the Pokemon and we're gonna to have to mock this method right here. So first thing that we want to do is we want to go into here and we want to have a win. We're gonna have Pokemon service dot get all Pokemon and we can pass in um, page size and page number. You we don't have to hard code that we don't have to put those in a variable. And then we also need to bring in this win. We're going to import static method win. We'll say then return response DTO. So then we'll say it's going to return a response DTO response DTO. We're going to have to create a Pokemon response DTO. I forgot all about it. So we're going to have to go up here and the Pokemon response DTO say response is going to equal to Pokemon response. And we actually need to go up here to the builder and we need to add this. So we need to go into the um, Pokemon response and we need to add builder up here. And that should be good to go. Then what we need to do is we need to actually make one. So we're going to say Pokemon response. It's going to be Pokemon response dot 
builder.build and we're going to pass in page size. So we'll say here dot page size and we'll say 10. We'll say the actual, if, is this the last one? We'll say true. So it'll be true for that one and feel free to put whatever you want to. And then we'll have page number one. Then we'll put some content in here. So we'll say content and we're going to pass in a array list. We're going to pass in an array of the Pokemon DTS. So we'll have arrays dot as list and we'll say the Pokemon DTF. Okay. So that looks good. And we'll call this response DTO. Okay. So next thing that we need to do is we need to actually build out our result actions. So we're going to go result actions is equal to response. So we'll say response and this will be mock MVC. And we will perform a get. So say dot perform get, make sure that it's a get and it's not a post. Now we'll go up here. So we'll say API and we're getting all of our Pokemon back. So we'll say Pokemon. Okay, that looks good. Now what we need to do is we need to set a couple params. So we need to have a param. Let's see here, import static method. So we're gonna say import static mock MVC request builders dot get. And that's gonna be our URL template. Okay, so after this, this is when we can go ahead and add in our params. So this actual method had a couple params in it. So if we go over here, we have our get mapping and we have our two request params. We have a page number and we have a page size and we need to go ahead and we need to input those. So the first one is going to be the page number. So we're gonna say, we have to give it the name. So say page number and we'll say one. That'll be our first param. Next param. <clears throat> oh, this needs to actually be a string. Okay, so this needs to be an actual string right here. Okay, so next param is going to be very similar. So we're going to have the page size. So we'll have page size and we'll have 10 right here. Okay, and then we also need to make sure that we are sending this up, this content type up as an application JSON or it might not accept it. So we'll have here, so we'll have media type and we'll have application JSON and also, oh. This needs to be content type. Okay, and then after this, this is when we're going to have our response dot expect. So we'll have response and expect. We'll have mock MVC result matchers and we'll have status and we'll make sure that this is okay. And what we want to do here is we want to check to make sure that the actual content size of the the most important value is going to be the content within the actual Pokemon DTO or the Pokemon response DTO. So we want to make sure that we're actually getting content back within that because that's the most important part. All of the other page size, the last uh, and page number are important to certain aspects, but we really want to make sure all that content's in there. So let's just go ahead and test the content. So first go into here and say content and there is a JSON path helper that will help us track the size. So we'll have the size and then all that we want to do is we want to have the response DTO. We'll have dot get the actual response DTO dot get content. And then for the get content, that's when we're going to have the actual size. Okay, so let's go ahead and here and let's test. That was a hard one. Let's make sure that this thing is working. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to go into our Pokemon response and we need to actually add a no args constructor. So we'll say no args constructor and then all args constructor. And that's the reason that it's giving that error. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna run it one more time. I really hope that this works. Thank you, whoo, okay. That's going to be the video for today. That was quite a hard, that was a very difficult one. Um, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and keep watching.